Hello, my friends. <clears throat> and welcome to Objects in Space. I wanted to include this in the um, in the opening because it's so cool with the bios and stuff. Uh, yes, welcome to Objects in Space. Finally hitting 1.0. As of today, March 1st. Uh, I'm <clears throat> Damn, a little phlegmy. I'm sorry. I'm still getting over this cold thing, I think. I am disgustingly excited about this. Uh, this has been one of my most anticipated games for at least the last two years. And I've got a, a eight hours in the various alphas and betas already, so I'm disgustingly, horrifically excited to do 1.0. There are a few ways you can play this. You can play over a LAN, which hopefully we'll be able to do someday if we ever get like an Evolve uh, substitute. <clears throat> there are scenarios, which I have not tried. I've, I figured I should try and get better at the actual game first before trying them. And there's the main uh, way to play the game is the story. Now, you can start... If you've played the game already, you can skip the tutorial and skip all the intro NPCs. Just put it in pure sandbox mode. But we are going to keep it uh, normal for everything. Uh, man, is there a way to change my name? Uh, see, 1.0. I think, is there a way to change my name? Because uh, it keeps using like Ceres Pilot. From my name, and uh, it's gotta be a way to change that. Uh, I guess not. All right, but we're gonna just start with the normal stuff because um, I want you guys to see everything. So here we go. So this game has an interesting. Um, we well, kind of can't see it right now, but it's mostly keyboard. This game, with a little bit of mouse. Uh, so first we gotta talk to Wendy over here. Everything is text. There is no voice acting at all. So we gotta talk to Wendy. So if you've never seen this before, I'll just do this. <laughs> Itty big little shuttles. And we're checking the big ship Cassandra for the next jump. <clears throat> Language Panglish. It's interesting. All right. So this is consistent. Um, this is consistent throughout the game. You always have to request permission before. And the neat thing is you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out on different monitors, which is good usability, I think. All right, so we're going to go to our shuttle, close the doors, and now you use the arrow keys to move around. Now, this is a really tiny shuttle, so there's only two rooms. Like you can see, there's the same entryway right there. <coughs> so, uh, as you can see, you use your zoom, you know, you, you can use, or you could click left click and right click to exit out so there are multiple ways to do it i like the mouse i like the wheel but you know there's different ways so we're gonna undock you have to be focused on a monitor to be able to click stuff you can't just click from here looking good all right so now we're gonna go through a little um just a tiny just a little like maneuverability tutorial. So, as you see, we have manual controls here. Uh, if we want to do manual um, maneuvering. All right. So now we're going to do a little bit of burning. So now, as you can see, we're drifting a little bit. That arrow shows our direction. Can I zoom in on that? Yeah. So that's that's the direction we're going. So now we're going to have a conversation. Uh, 
harboring 750,000 people back in the Cassandra. It's up to us, just us, to help her get to safety in the cluster. <laughs> Earth and the haters. Okay. Uh, Kavaleski's readings. The grain should be habitable. Okay. First humans to colonize an entirely new star cluster. Forget Mars. Forget d damn Neptune with its boring ass truck stops. Oh wow. A totally new. It's. Oh well, one's positive and one's pragmatic. I'll go with positive. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> that was ten years ago. Now here's the thing. We made a choice. You and me. We're the only. You have made the choice to leave all that behind and seek a new life. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Come to a full stop. How do I how do I stop again? Oh. You gotta go here and do it. It's kinda weird that it's not here with the other controls, but whatever. Okay. All right. Okay, you can click on that right here. It's true. Okay, so wait, this job would be a plot of course. Okay, so plot of course, where, where am I plotting of course? Ah, right there. Plot of course. That's the autopilot. So you can just click on the map, tell where you want to go, and boom, it just does it. It's pretty nifty. Um, <clears throat> Okay. Really start again. Do you reckon Apollo will be okay? I'm really asking you here. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. How many Earthling does it change to like oh, I don't know how many. Apollonian Apollonians. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're a little too excited. <clears throat> Build our side of the earth gate and people can come to and go as they please. It's just straight up awesome. <laughs> Trans cluster travel. Okay. <laughs> so you can have multiple waypoints, which is pretty nifty. It's very handy for getting around things like asteroid fields.
Okay. And now we're changing course. And we can accelerate time if we want to up to four times, which is pretty handy for stuff for times like these. And it, it jumps you back to normal time when you when stuff like that happens. <clears throat> okay. All right. So this is our screen. Jump drive spun up. We are jump ready. Jumping is really neat in this game. No signal from Cassandra? And now, wait, who are these people? And where the hell are we? What is going on? We're spinning. We're spinning. Uh... Module sync failed. Module is non-functional. Now we're being hailed by... I guess it's a... Oh, my helm is shot. Uh. Yep, so let's go do this. Um, yes, see, now we're going to show you how to fix the thing. So we got to go in there. First, we gotta disconnect it. Then we gotta open it. Gotta take off the screws. And then we open her up. This is the broken thing. We take that out, and we fix it with, luckily, a green thing. And now we're in the green. So everything else seems okay, so let's close her back up. Put the screws back on. And connect. And now we're in the green again. This is basically what I did, but they're they're telling me to how to do it, so I'm gonna hit RCS to bring us to a stop. Whew. Right. Where is here exactly? No, it does not. Ha ha ha! Uh uh. That would be what I would ask. Oh, what's that newcomer? Space time rift. Okay. <clears throat> How late am I? Oof, 45 years. So basically, that little jump we just did sent us all in a time loop. And we all came out at different times. And I'm 45 years after the Cassandra. Uh... 
Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that's what I want to do. Alright, so, Leo, yep, that's where we want to go, right there. Plot course, engage. That's probably our buddy. So now we're getting a little background story in the last 45 years. Okay. But we made it. We're all here. Still surviving. Did we find any other life? The no aliens. Okay. Still in return. Oh. Threatening vessel? Well, oh, that's fair. We don't know what that is. And this little dinky thing. So this is neat. Once we get close enough, you can you'll be able to see uh the ship reverse and hear it burn, watch the ship shake a bit. It's very nifty. Excuse me. And this is stuff for when you have a jump drive. Jump drives are kind of expensive, so it'll take a little while for me to get one. Almost there. See, now she's reversing. Doing a little bit of a burn to slow it down. And we are docked. Okay. I love that bell. So let's open the doors. <laughs> I love the style of the graphics. They're 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 this this is something that could have come out in nineteen ninety four and looked just like this. No friends, no family and so forth. Yeah. Oh that's really nice. It's a good thing I ran into a nice guy. Space legal. <laughs> ah, I get a, how do I get another ship? Right. Oh, but I like my shuttle. It's got such character. Oh, cool. So, this is, um, this is LIGO Gasport. Oh, she's talking Finnish. You can't click on everyone. So, they have a new calendar, the Apollo calendar. It's 44A. It's October 3rd. Yep, that's what it says up there. It's a Tuesday. Welcome to the Apollo Cluster. This is heavy. Hooray? <laughs> Hooray indeed. Okay. Is 
central hub of the whole cluster. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Sorry, all your friends are dead. Okay, so like earlier, uh, you use the keyboard, and then you got like contracts and loans and bounties and such. And this is where you can buy commodities. The trading screen right there, which is pretty neat. And uh, this is ship parts right here. And this is my ship, which I am about to sell. And I don't know how to change my name. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to sell my ship. Yeah, so see, I can't purchase any of these yet. But I can purchase a brand new light freighter. Now this is my ship. And I have two pods. And a decent balance. We're going to buy some more pods, and then we are going to upgrade them, well, at least two of them, because for certain uh, missions and cargo, you need to have certain types of pods, So, but the nice thing is you can spend a little money and have fully upgraded pods, so you can take anything in those, which is nice. It costs money, as you saw, but um, it's nice to have them. So I think this thing can have eight pods. That's cool. So I have four right now. That's a start. And uh, so I can't buy any other ships. Can I click on you? Hey. <laughs> but chatting is how you make friends. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the writing in this game is hilarious and and so let's see I can't go over there uh this is the last area yeah, it's a small little place um <laughs> and uh, so there's the black market right there. And I don't think I can do anything with that yet. So we're going to go back and talk to... There we go. Leslie. Brought a series class light freighter. What else should I do before I take off? Salvage, bounty hunting, and the like. Hauling cargo, it's the backbone for all of us. Okay, you make sure you're not Leon Space Enterprises. Ulsa. Ulsa. Okay. Cool. Gotta find work. You gotta find work one employer at a time. That's fine with me. Okay. Taking contracts, yep. All right. All right. So now we're going to go back. Uh, so as you can see, these are blue. So there are actual things there. Like there's a bounty for that guy, which I'm not going to take clearly. And I could take a, a loan if I, if, oh, I guess I can't scroll down. I guess I have to do that. Um, but I'm going to take a contract. So let's see. 123 credits. I don't pay really well yet. Uh, oh, and that, that one takes a jump. Uh, but this one pays better, and I don't have to jump to do it, so it's probably quicker. So let's take the contract. And the nice thing is, this didn't happen all the all the time, but it's a more recent thing they added to the game. When you take a contract, they just put the cargo directly in your um, <clears throat> in your uh, your thing. So let's see. This is below. Oh. A low market price. Yeah, I should buy that and then try and sell it somewhere. Uh, is that market price? Is that market price? That's fine. Um, it's nice that they tell you that. It's like, oh, look, I can take a little something and maybe sell that. So I did get a contract. Right. 
Yeah, the PDA is what I'm looking at right now, actually, but it could do a lot more. Um, so there's a little more backstory. They didn't build it. So they never finished the Earth Gate. And so we've pr pretty much been out of touch with Earth. The Apollo Authority are the folks in charge now, apparently. Seven major states. And we're inside the Leon Empire. I guess if that's... What about Earth? Some people still care about Earth. But the folks wanted freedom from Earth won out. So the whole purpose of the Cassandra mission was abandoned? <laughs> it's true. We did colonize Pile like we were freaking supposed to. Last piece of advice. All right. <clears throat> right. Thanks, man. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's my ship. I got to pay a fee to leave, which is kind of weird. Um, but then I got to request permission. So here's my freighter. So we have kind of a common area. We have a captain's quarters with a you know little thing right there, a little monitor. Uh, if you have a passenger, they'll either be in there or out here. This is the, the airlock. This is your like mail room. Let's turn on auto sync. So we have a message in the queue. So, huh? Good old DOS, right? So let's do mail. And we have some mail, so uh, I'm not gonna make you read all this. And that's Leslie. We're gonna send him a reply. And we have some other emails like customer service that you can read. I'm not gonna make you read all this. I kind of like how the developers put an email in here. Um, this tells you about the pad, which I'll show you in a second. And this tells you about the freighter we just bought. So I'm going to just delete a bunch of these. Just got to leave all of them. There's no point in keeping them, um, usually. So this is our engineering room where we could see, like, components in storage. We can... You know, get our engineering stats. This is like that screen. The other one where we disconnect things to fix them. We can also move things around. You know, if we wanted to move this over here, for example, or if we got another RCS, we'd move it over here. Stuff like that. Uh, this is more engineering stuff we really don't have to worry about right now. And this is where a lot of the magic happens. Um, so let's see. So here's our PDA. And you use the tilde key. So we're going to Crassus Harbor. This is our cargo. This is just a quick look at the map so we can look at it anywhere. We're not talking to anybody. And the game is paused. So we can, like, change things. All right, so we're going to... Wait, where are we going? Damn it. Crassus Harbor, I think? Yeah, Crassus Harbor. So we first have to undock. Before we can plot any kind of course. Let's... Where is Crassus Harbor? There's some stuff over there. You can't hold it down. Oh, there it is. All right. So we're just going to click on it. Boink. Plot. Engage. As you can see, the, um, the map already is a bit more... Like, even the icon for your ship is definitely more fleshed out than the shuttle you were just flying. So... Clearly, there's been an improvement in um, in the technology, and uh, I like that there's a music player. I 
I don't know if you can own your if you can add your own tracks or anything. I usually don't have music, so right now, uh, as you can see, there's still a lot of fog. I'm not sure why we have fog. Like, wouldn't everyone see everything? Like, it's already been mapped, right? But anyway, uh, let's accelerate time. And uh, here we can see, like, what? Oh yeah, we're not doing that. Well, let's let's um. Oh. Well, um, the game crashed. That's not great. Uh, but about the half hour mark. Oh, that's not great at all. Okay, well, uh, we'll be back for the next entry. We saved the game, I think, when we left. Uh, so we'll see what happens when we reload our game. Thanks, y'all.